Hey everybody. So this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use Rufus 4.3 to set up your Windows 11 installer USB thumb drive. And we're running Rufus 4.3.2090. And what I'll do is I'll put a link into the video description where you can download that. Or if you have an existing copy of Rufus already, I'll put a card in the upper right corner of this video showing you how to set up Rufus to check for updates and we can just download the new Rufus from within Rufus. So anyway, let's go and get started. And I should note that I've already got Rufus set up to check for updates, which also enables it to download ISO images from the internet. And what we can do is we can go ahead and download Windows 11 23H2. And I should note that Microsoft will be releasing 23H2 as an ISO to the media creation tool on November 15th. So in theory, this is actually a early way to get it. So that being said, let's go ahead and select download and click download. We'll choose one as 11, click continue. This may take a moment. And you can see here we have Windows 11 23H2, build 22621.2428. We'll select continue. And you'll select your version here, which is the only one you have is Windows 11 home slash pro slash education. Continue. Select your language. We're going to choose English United States since I'm in US. Click continue. Architecture, of course, Windows 11 is only available in 64 bit. And we're going to click download. And we'll go ahead and save this ISO file. So we'll wait for it. We'll wait for this to download and we'll come back when it's done. Okay, so now that we have downloaded Windows 11 23H2. We have, of course, options in here that we can select from. And of course, we'll keep it as standard Windows installation. Now, right here for GPT, I'm going to actually change that to MBR. Because generally when you set up a, a USB installer for Windows using the uh, media creation tool, it sets up as a MBR partition style. And this is important if you're wanting to install Windows 11 on older machines that are not a UEFI based system. Now, if we're going to click on start, we have some options here. And by default, you can see what is selected. It um, has checked to remove the requirement for 4 gigs of RAM, secure boot, and TPM 2.0. In other words, what I call here the Microsoft Elite Class Minimum Requirements on Windows 11. Also, you have the option to remove the requirement for an online Microsoft account. This is nice, that way you don't get um, forced to uh, run through the Microsoft account setup wizard and the uh, installer in OBE writer. Now you also have the option to create a local account with a given username. I don't actually have that enabled. You can set regional options to the same value as this user. This is actually pretty nice because it helps um, speed up the process of setting up a system. Disable data collection so you don't have to answer all the dumb questions and disable BitLocker on Mac device encryption. So we're going to leave all of these checked except for this one and we'll select OK. Now here it's saying another program or process is accessed in the device. You want to format it anyway. Let me just make sure that we are in fact dealing with the correct one. And we are. So I don't see any other programs running right now that are using that so I'm just going to go ahead and click on yes. And it's going to warn you that all data on the device will be erased. I'm going to click OK. And now it's going to set up our flash drive. OK, so our installer is set up and ready for reuse. So anyways, that is how you can download Windows 11 23H2 using Rufus and set up a USB installer to bypass the minimum system requirements. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video from Cuckoo Channel. 
If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and be sure to tick the bell so we get notified of new video posts. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, and share this video as well as the channel with your friends and get the word out. Also, I have a second channel that's Cubed Comp MTDX. Over there, you'll find videos about thunderstorms and weather, cycling, and videos about me personally. Feel free to subscribe over there as well if you like. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for your support.